missed my period. I found out I was pregnant. I was so scared. I thought you will deny me and my baby. Why would I do that? To a pretty girl like you? I can't do that. Come on. So I'm trying to say that girls that get denied by their boyfriends when they're pregnant are not pretty? No. Listen, you're very special to me. You mean the whole world to me. <laughs> I love you. I care so much about you. And um, I feel like you complete me. I feel like you're everything I want in a woman. So why would I deny you in the baby? The baby's my mom. Do you remember how we met? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, can I get bread? Is this soft? Yes, it's very Please, soft. Please, let me, let me see. Coke, Coke. You have Coke? Yes. Okay. Let me go inside. Okay. Let me check it out. Mm. Mm. Man, it's soft though. Please hurry up with the Coke. Is it cold? Yes, it is. Mm. How much of that run? Fifteen era. Huh? Fifteen era. Yes. For this small brand of Hi. Wow. And then your things are expensive. Hmm? That people are selling cheap, but they're selling. Uh, how much is everything? Everything is 500. 500? How? Oh. Because that's the normal price now. How much is the bread? Bread is 300. This one? 150. If you are not. 59. That's 500. Ah, wow. What is this country turning into? Huh? Around. My money is 500. Please give me my money. Okay. Oh God, pay me now. What's all this drama for? Give me my money. Pay me, sir. This is what you are looking around. Maybe my money. My money is 500. I think I've misplaced my money. I think my money fell off my pocket. Oga, you said you what? Yeah, hold on. Oga, give me my money. My money is 500. Madam, Madam, please. I beg you in the name of God. Don't embarrass me here. Please. I, I, I think I, I, had, I had 1,000 naira in my because pocket. Because I'm still speaking English with you. The thing is, I do charity for you. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh God, give me my money. Listen, listen. Oh God, give oh, me wait, my money. Wait, wait, wait. Now, do shouts now. Stop shouting. But I'm so shocked. Oh please. God, give me my money. Listen, I, I had one thousand in my pocket, and I can't find it anymore. <laughs> I was trying to explain to you before you. You, you were trying to explain to me. Yes. Oh God, give me my money. Wait now. Oh God, give me my money. People are, people are watching you now. Stop now, please. People are watching you. Oh God. Give me my money. Please, I'm my money is 500. Give me my money. Listen, listen, I, I'm a responsible Nigerian. I, I don't do this normally. I, I had 1,000 naira in my pocket, but I can't find it anymore. Give me my money. Listen, okay, see. Oga, oh give me my money. Oh, wait, That's why you don't go around. Buy credit. Oga, oh give me my money. Listen, okay, hold on, hold on. Here's my phone. Can you just. Please, just, just hold the phone. I'll, I'll get the money. Go around buying credit from people. Look at you. Fine boy, empty pockets. 
You are still standing here, Abby. Can, can I at least get my SIM card? Which SIM card? Can I get my SIM card? You still have the mouth to talk. Let me go inside and come back and see you here. You know that what I do. No, stand there and wait for me. Never change your faithful till the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. Woo! I worship you. Hey, you have seen you. Have you haven't been here for long. Um, not really. But I came and saw you singing. You have a good voice. Stop, Joe. What do you want to buy? Um, I want bread and sachet water. Bread and... Okay. <laughs> That's all? Um, yes, that will be all. Please, how much is your gala? My gala is... 17... 17 and a half for gala. Ah, uh, 17 and a half. Yes. Ah, sorry, I can't... Gala is very cool. This girl, um, she's not come to my show before. Um, yes, I live somewhere down um, across the road. Okay. Yes. Um, 70, 10, 20, 100 and yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Alright. Jesus! Please. I'm sorry, I... Please, please, I'm so sorry. I, I swear on my life, this was not deliberate. I was rushing to give my brother, my sick brother, this bread and such at water. He he's so hungry, I, I didn't know I... I didn't know when I did this, I'm so sorry, please. Oh, the market is bad now, the market is bad. This will cost me so much money. Now what you expect me to say, as you've told me you have a sick brother in the house. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. For, from the bottom of my heart, I, I didn't mean to do this, honestly. I wish there's something I can do. Please. I'm hey. so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, you want to give your sick brother bread and pure water? Yes, that's the only thing I can afford. Okay, should I should I return them so so we can keep the, the money for this? No, it's okay. Take your money back. Ma, it's not your brother is sick now. Take. You can use it and buy your brother medicine. I can't see I'm feeling sad. I don't have my kids. I don't even know what to do. Just, just take and go and buy a bottle of medicine. Let me sort myself out. <laughs> I can relate to your story because I lost my parents. So, so I know how it feels when someone you love is sick. I manage. Sorry. Thank you very much. God will bless you. Eh? God will give you a good husband. Please, are you married? I just go and take care of your brother. I'm sorry, I'll just. Thank you so much, man. God bless you. Hey. I'm so sorry. Please, stop crying. I'm sorry, please. It's okay. My brother and I will pray for you. Okay. I'm sorry, 
like I'm washing this with my toes. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Just, just go and take care of my brother. Leave me alone. Don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. Just leave those ones. Leave those ones. It's fine. Don't touch it. It's pepper. To watch your hand. Don't touch it. I will. I will use what I put and pack it by myself. Come. I have something for you. I don't want anything from you. There you go. I don't need anything from you. There you go. Jesus. Okay. Yes, sir. It's yours. What? This house. I was lying. I was lying about my brother. I... It was a prank. Prank? Yes, I wanted to know if uh, we still have good people in the world. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm not supposed to understand, but listen, I'm very, very impressed. You have a good heart. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I know this is don't pay for I pay for the damage. It's okay. It's alright. This money is too much. It's okay. Listen, listen. There's more where this came from. Okay. It's yours. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. I said it was a crash. I've been through a lot in my life, but something tells me that there are good people in the world, and I just wanted to find out myself, and I just did. So there you go. It's okay. It's yours. Right? And I'll add this too. Yes. I should I should say thank you. I should be the one saying thank you to you. Alright? You just displayed an art of kindness. And that's what we need in the world. People need to care for humanity. And that's that's what you have shown me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Listen, my name is Festus. All right. What's your name? What's your name? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, I was thinking, how oh, will I replace all these things with our food? I don't know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? Thank you. So now you have more than enough to replace it. Hey, it's so much. I'm going to make it. I'm going to put it on my shop. I'm taking it. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on, stop. No, no, no. I, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's okay. Just, uh, I'll see you some other time, all right? So, you're not drinking with me, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Right. Hey. This is my morning prayer I walked off. My morning prayer I walked off. Hey, God. No, this is my new morning prayer. Hey. Hey. Yeah. 
So from that point, I decided to take this to the next level. I decided you're going to be my wife. I decided I would share my life with you. And I also decided to see your parents. So yeah, I'm ready to see your parents. Uh, I'm ready to pay the bride price, do our traditional marriage, and I want to pay and um, I'll go see your parents, um, pay the bride price. But before we do that, I'd like to show you to my parents too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to paint the entire town blue. <laughs> I want to make noise, tell the entire world that I'm in love with you. I love you so very much. I love you with everything. Come here. Hey, sis. What was that? Hey, what's up, Jay? Hi. What's up, man? How are you? Justin. Justin. What are you doing here? I actually really want to ask you what you are doing in my friend's house. Sorry, you guys know each other? What is she? Um, Jay, this is my girl. Uh, babe, this is my friend. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Let me see you outside. Okay, babe. Alright. Johnson, what's up, man? What's my woman doing in your house? And she was even kissing you. <laughs> I beg your pardon, what do you mean? <laughs> Johnson, I know some of your girlfriends and they don't look like her. What do you mean? Thank God. Thank God you know that I have so many girlfriends. Right. Now, let me tell you. This one here mm. is one of them. Yes, she is. <laughs> Johnson, listen, I met this girl in the market, we got talking, I fell in love with her, that's why she's here, so what do you mean she's your girlfriend, I don't understand, how come you never told me about her? Well, I did bro, <laughs> I did, okay, do you remember the girl I told you about at um, the rental bar, the one I smashed in the car, the one I knocked, and the toilets and the kitchen, you know, the one I mesmerized. Every new can cranny of, of this city. You remember? Yes, now you remember. Don't tell me you forgot. That's the girl. That's my girl. So when are you going to China? When are you traveling? Suspended for now. Why? I want to know why. Mm -hmm. Okay. I met this girl in town. This pretty French girl. Let's just, if you see this girl, meet. Hope you understand. Meet everywhere. Wait. You suspended your business trip all for a woman? Christians, you will not understand. This girl is not just any girl. I mean, she's always available for me. Just like empty and left everywhere you go. Yes, and we do our daily things and we are happy together. Do you know that 
the last time we were together before we got home, we had it in the car. I mean, we step into the house and the parlor. Then first in the room, the kitchen, the bathroom, the veranda. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> How can I leave such fun, bro? Wait, did you say you had sex in the kitchen? Yes, in the kitchen. Listen, I hope someday in the future you don't end up having sex in church. Oh, well, if I have the opportunity, I would like to have that experience. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> oh, no, crazy. Wait, in the kitchen. That's where you make your food, bro. That's disgusting. I'm just telling you that if I have the opportunity to do it in church, I'm going to experience it. So. The kitchen is in my house. You're mad, bro. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> mm. You see, you remember now, right? <laughs> that's it. So that's my girl. What's she doing here? Johnson. Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that? The girl you told me you had sex with in the car, in the bathroom, yes, <laughs> in your kitchen, everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Is the same girl carrying my child? Child. Uh, uh, Festus, you're finished. What Johnson said to you. But I'm sorry. It's all in the past. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Such an ugly past. I cannot live with it. My love, don't sound like that, please. I love you so very much. Johnson is. My ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing going on between us anymore. You know I love you so much. I'm so sorry. Please, baby, please. Just let it go. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> He's not just your ex-boyfriend. Is your sex machine. You did it everywhere with him. In the toilet. In the kitchen. In the bathroom. Even in his car. You should have told me you're such a cheap whore. Hey. I'm you had to play that dirty with him. No. You had to go that far with my friend. Oh. 
Not gonna solve this battle. Let go, my friend. It's not a solution. Let it go, my friend. It's all of the past, not the future. Tell me how you will feel if someone think of you the same way. The life that we live is like a rain that comes within its own season that you know. Stop thinking about someone's past I know that some parts are tragedy We all make mistakes Some part just is with the mercy I don't think it's happening fast Leave this house before I get back. I won't repeat myself again. The bitch. I don't want it to destroy my future. My love, have mercy. I don't mean to do it. I don't mean but it's to just my past. A lot of things happen as within me. Happiness. I just wish I could let it out. But it's all love, is just within me. It's burning inside me. Hey! Hey! Ha! Nine. Hi. You and this uh, news. Don't you know that this thing is what is making your BP to rise? Yeah, doctor. The news making BP. Is that the, the lie they told you in the market today? All the lie they told me in the market. Who will be listening to news in this our country and not have high BP? Today, if they are not killing people in the north, they are running uh, uh, at the west. If they are not uh, kidnappers, are not kidnapping people in the east. Uh, in the other it's side, okay, they, are, okay. uh, they are shooting guns. It's okay. It's okay. Huh? Let me. Is that not what you are listening to? It's Tell all me. right. Tell me the truth. It's all right. Let me worry. Uh, uh, don't worry yourself. Let me go back at my no, bad news and uh, BP. It's all right. Wait, wait. Keep on. Don't that. Mm. Is it only? Are you going to marry me just to welcome our daughter and not to be? Look at you. I want to make it a memorable day for my son and my daughter-in-law to be. First of all, it's my only son. Hmm? So, he deserves better. Right. Yes? Right. I will make sure that I pick his favorite. I know my, uh, my son's favorite. I know. And, and I will what I, I will cook. I know. And every other thing. And Salah Suka, I know you don't want to tell me. No problem. I'm ready to tell you. I know, I'm ready to tell you. It's all right. Uh, uh, it's all right. Uh, it's all right. Uh, it's all right. It's all right.
she had sex with my friend countless times in the bathroom, in the car, in the toilet. Oh my God. And she's carrying my child? No, 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 no. It will never happen. She has to terminate the pregnancy. I can't even stand her face anymore. Johnson, someone I helped. Johnson, Ugh. I can't do this anymore. No, 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 no. This is not good for my mental health. It's not. I can't marry her. She has to terminate the pregnancy and she has to leave my house. husband to be? Just if you're crying out loud, you left me for months with no communication. I found new love and you suddenly show up from nowhere. I want to ruin my new relationship with your stupid details of what you and I did in the past. Why are you so wicked, huh? How can you be that childish? Babe, I lost my phone. I never stopped loving you. Look, I was shocked to see you here. I was only shocked to see you here at my friend's place. I thought he lured you here to sleep with you. I didn't know you were pregnant and he wants to marry you. You lost your phone. So whose fault is it? Is that enough reason for you to spoil the mind of the man that genuinely wants to marry me? Why are you so wicked? Why don't you want me to be happy? Why? To be happy and that's Don't come here. close to me. Listen, Jeanette, I still love you. It breaks my heart to see you with my friend. I mean, why my friend? Must it be Festos? He's my best friend, don't you get? Do you hear yourself speak? So I was supposed to ask Festus to bring out list of his friends before I get into a relationship with him? You know what? You're the last person I want to see. I'm so mad at you. Don't make me do something stupid to you. Just, just get out. Don't touch me. Get out of my house. Get, get out. Get out. You fool. Johnson, what the hell are you doing in my house? Oh. You had to wait for me to go to work. So you can come and bang your girlfriend as usual. So tell me. Where did you do it this time? My living room? My kitchen? My bedroom, on the dining, or maybe under my bed. Oh, come on, Festus, please stop. Stop it. We are friends, and we should be sorting out things as friends and as men. Now listen and listen good. I am not your friend. I have told that bitch that prostitute, that whore, to leave my house. 
And I think you should do the same too. I don't ever want to see both of you around my premises. Do you understand me? You overreact. It's not what you think. I came here to explain some things to her. That's the reason I came. Johnson, you just said I am overreacting. I'll tell you something. If I was overreacting, you would have been dead by now. Because I would have killed you. Listen to me. Because I am not going to repeat myself again. Both of you should get the hell out of my life. And don't ever show your face here again. And where's that buster? Come here. I said come here. Now listen and listen good. The next time you let that dog into my house, Person of easy for this work. to bring your food downstairs or you want to eat in the room what you want are you okay hmm? are you still here i thought i asked you to leave can you take him this too far please i'm taking the things too far no i'm not I'm doing the right thing. I can't live with a prostitute. Now let me ask you a question. Who raised you? Because you're clearly not raised well. If you were, you wouldn't go around having sex with all kinds of people doing all kinds of sex positions even with my friend look at you you have guilt written all over your face I come to think of it my friend just left. He had to wait for me to go to work. So he can continue from where you both stopped. So tell me, where did you do it this time? In my bedroom? In my kitchen? On my couch? Where did you have sex? This is how you I didn't do anything. I swear. Listen to me. I hate you. 
your bitch. I slut. You belong to the streets. Leave my house. Else, I'll kill you. for me it's none of your business are you still angry I'm sorry Johnson is in my past please no he's not in your past he is in your present As a matter of fact, your present was here today. He had to wait for me to go to work so he can come continue from where he stopped. That's not true. He came so he can apologize to you for what he did. Apologize to me? Apologize to me, you said. Medicine after death. There's no need to apologize. I made my decisions already. Which is? You kill that thing you call a child. Because it's not mine. You will abort it. A portion? No. Why will you look? If you don't love me, just just tell me. How will you ask me to to abort our first child? I'm not going to do that. No way. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Are you still talking about love? I'll listen and listen, go. Did I meet you a virgin? The answer is no. Because I know that's in your past. But this situation is different! You're sleeping with my friend! Don't you understand? You are sleeping with my friend. And he told me in confidence that you enjoy having sex with him. He mimicked your soundtrack. He said, you like taking it from the back. He also said, he gave it to you in the kitchen. Oh, I remember. He also said, you enjoyed it more in the car. But how do you want me to kill him? 
to think this is the woman I want to marry. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You kill that child. And you leave my house. That's my decision. Leave your house? Yes. Where do you want me to go to? I cannot kill my child. I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't even have a business anymore because you asked me to stop my provision business. So what do you expect me to go to? What do you want me to do with my child? I'll give you enough money. Enough money to take care of yourself and take care of the child because I don't want it you think this is all about money I'm not going to kill my child neither will I have a child outside wedlock I want to get married to you. Don't you get it? <laughs> I want to get married to you. Don't you get it? So now you want to get married. What do I look like to you? A dumping ground? Oh. You should have thought about it. You should have thought about your future before messing your youthful days up. You should have closed your legs. Now your past has caught up with you. This should be a lesson to women out there. You leave my house and you kill that child. I'm ashamed of you. Let it go, my friend. It's not gonna solve this battle. Let go, my friend. It's not a solution. Let it go, my friend. It's all of the past, not the future. Tell me how you will feel if someone thinks of you the same way. The life that we live is like a rain that comes within its own season that you know. Stop thinking about someone's past I know that some parts are tragedy. What's that for? And hey, why did you take off my ring? You want to know? This is how I intend to get you off my life. Any more questions? Thank you. Here, a check of 10 million naira. Oh, it's more than enough to take care of your miserable self 
and at the same time kill that bastard you call a child. I don't need your money. It's your love I want. And I'm not getting rid of any child. I'm not leaving your house. Since I met you at that miserable shop, you have caused me nothing but pain. I swear on my life, if you don't leave my house by the time I'm back, tell you the truth. My ogre is seeing you as a dog. And I am beginning to see reasons with him. Eh? Why is it that whenever my ogre is not around, you always come here to look for my ogre wife? Or are you having any affair with my ogre wife? My guy is not what you think. Huh? I just have little thing to iron out with your mother. Okay? Hmm. Uh, look, I am not asking you to let me in for nothing. Alright? You just um, help me hold on to this, okay? Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. I can see anything you are doing, you have to help my career. Just do it fast. Very I'm begging in the name of God. Very quick. Do it fast. Please. Festus said so many terrible things the last time I was here about us. So I was wondering how he's been treating you. You can't continue to suffer in this house. Please. I want to give you a new life. What stupid new life are you talking about? Are you aware I'm carrying another man's child? I am pregnant for Festus. You don't get that into your stupid brain. And I love him. Stop deceiving yourself, Chile. Stop. You only accepted Festus because you were desperate for marriage. Excuse you? Yes, and since I wasn't available, you settled for less. Don't do that. You're very stupid. I didn't settle for less. Festus is a good man. A great man. And I am not desperate for marriage. I love him so very much. Get out. That's consolation. Listen Get out. out. That's consolation. Festus is only here to console you since I'm not around. Look, you know inside of you that you can never love any man the way you loved me. Remember how we used to add any things. Have you forgotten that you remember from the toilet to the room to the Shut up! Room. Shut up! These are the same nonsense you say to Festus that has put him into this mess. And here you are saying them again. But I'm here to take you out of this mess. Look, I feel responsible for everything you're going through right now. Just give me a chance to fix it. Yes, I understand you're pregnant for Festus. I am willing to forgive you. Take you back. Since Festus says, 
doesn't want you anymore. Come back to me. You're not. I'm not. You're crazy. I'm in love with you. I hate you. Is that him? You hear that? Festus is back. Hey, hey, hey. Trust me, you're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. What's wrong with you? Come here, come here. Come close. What's your problem? Yeah, no, I don't have any problem. You kept me outside for over 10 minutes. Why? Don't I pay you? Sir, sorry, sir. I didn't sleep. What? I, I was sleeping, sir. I can't tell you a lie. You were sleeping? Yes, sir. On duty? Sir, you know I don't normally sleep at night. So during the day like this. Have sir. you gone mad? No, sir. Take, take off that cap. What's your problem? Don't I pay you? Am I owing you? No, sir. So why did you keep me outside for over 10 minutes? I'm sorry, sir. Just as I told you. Sir, you know, I don't normally sleep at night. During the day like this. I you look so night. ugly. Do you know that? Do you know that? What did I say? So I say I ugly. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you want to keep working here? No, sir. I have been working with Do you. Do you want to keep working yes, here? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know the right thing to do, right? Do you know the right thing to do? Yes, sir. Good. I know all my jobs, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Everything alright. What are you doing here? Mm. That's um the arm of the food I made. Do you have anything to say to me? No. Who's here with you? No oh, one. Why? Who is here with you? You? Just us?
Johnson is here. Johnson? No. He's not here. I think you're smart. Who opened this door? Who opened this door? You! When you came here? No, no. I went upstairs right now and I heard the sound of the door. Who opened it? You think you're smart? I'm smarter than you.
Shinae. 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 If truly you're dead, then I have no choice. I'll bury your corpse where no one can find you. At least, you are out of my life for good. Thank your stars. Thank your stars. Because I was going to bury you. Bitch. for you not coming home with our daughter-in-law just like you promised. Your father and I had everything ready, waiting, for you didn't show up. Huh? And since then, I've been calling and calling you were not picking my calls. So I decided to come to know if there is any problem. Hmm? As they say, since Mohammed refused to go to the mountain, the mountain will come to the Mohammed. That is what I did. I hope you are fine. Mama? Mm -hmm. Um... I apologize for keeping you hanging, um, but I changed my mind. It changed mind how? Yes, I, I had a change of mind. My mind, my mind in life, change is the only constant thing. Um, Good evening, Mama. Uh, hey, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, Mom. Yeah. Is she the one? Who? The girl. To me, Festus. Is she my daughter? You know? God forbid. God forbid. Yes. God forbid what? Why? Mm. Eh? God forbid what? Festus. I, 
I guess you are my daughter in law, the girl you told me about. Do you have any problem with my son? Um, um it's actually a long story. But you just came, so I will explain everything to you later. Just come and rest in a little, please. Long story, what? I'll tell you everything soon. Long story of Bagoni. Which. Okay. Let's go. It's alright. I don't like the character you displayed outside. How could you have left in that manner? It's an insult. Why would you walk away from us? What's happened? Tell me, what suddenly happened? I'm, I'm very sorry to hurt your feelings. But you know me. I don't tolerate nonsense. I don't know how to pretend. And point of correction, she's not my woman. Huh? Yes, she's no longer my woman. And I'm excited that you came around. Maybe you should tell her to leave. Because mm -hmm. I'm no longer interested, yes. Same girl you have been singing her praises all this while. Have you forgotten all the good things you told us about her? How you met her and everything. So tell me, what happened? Mama, you won't understand. Make me understand. Yes, I want to understand the reason you want this good girl out of your life. Tell me. Mama, listen to me. Don't I have the right to say I am no longer interested? Don't I? That is what I'm saying. At least tell me a very good reason why you want to end this relationship. The reason you are no more interested in the relationship. Eh? Why is it that you children of these days would want to end a beautiful relationship at the slightest provocation? Thank God I'm here now. Whatever the case may be, I am here to sort it out and we will resolve it like one big family. Mama, you don't understand. There is nothing to sort out. I'm wearing the shoes and I know where it hurts. All right? I am no longer interested in her. Eh? Marriage is not by force. And that's period. I won't ask you about my father because I know he's fine. Yeah. Let it go, my friend. It's not gonna solve this battle. Let go, my friend. It's not a solution. Let it go. My daughter. My yes. Where are you actually from and who are your parents? I'm from Amarako Mommy. And my father is late Mr. EGK. Oh, your father is late. Oh, I'm sorry about that, okay? But what about your mother? She's late too. Huh? Huh? Don't worry, my daughter. Hmm? Don't worry. I'm so sorry about that. You are now my daughter. Hmm? See me as your mother, okay? So, can you tell me more about yourself? I don't really have much to say about me, mom. I'm an orphan. I used to own a petty provision business before I met your son. Then we fell in love. He asked me to move in with him so we can plan our future together as husband and wife. I had to dash out the goods in my shop so I can move in with your son now. Oh. You truly love my son to have left your business to stay with him. Yes, ma'am. I love your son so much. He gave me reason to. <laughs> I'm pregnant for your son. 
Huh? You're pregnant. You're pregnant for my son. Hey! I'm so happy. I'm so happy, my daughter. Hey! So I will soon become a grandmother. Eh? How? No. I'm happy. But you are pregnant. How? I'm happy. I'm so happy. Hmm? You're welcome. You. Take me as your mother. Oh? Mm. Thank you, Mama. God bless. Do you want to ruin everything for me before you finally leave me alone? I have told you several times I don't want to see you. I don't need anything from you. Leave me alone, Johnson. Leave me alone. Yes, sir. We had a deal, yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. You never keep me waiting outside, right? Yes, sir. What happened? Oga. Oga. Now you be my Oga. What the hell happened? Oga, that dog is around. That dog is around. That bulldog you are talking about. He's inside now, right now, inside. What I'm dog is that? that? That dog that normally comes around whenever you are not around. That same dog is around. That is just the reason, sir. I cannot tell you a lie. Now you employ me. Now you they pay me. Yeah. Johnson is in my house? Yes. I was resisting not to enter. He was forcing me to go inside. Yeah? This man just put me for problem. Lock that gate. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.
the reason you refuse to come to the village with Chinene for the introduction, as we agreed earlier, was because you found out that she was dating your friend in the past. And first, Mama, I have always told you, you have no idea who she is. Why I have decided to keep her out of my life. That young man you saw today is the reason. I have begged that guy time and time again to stay away from me, to stay away from my house. But he refused. I equally pleaded with Chinya to stay away from me so I can have peace of mind. Because we don't have a future together. They both refused. Mama, they have turned my house. It will brought her. This house is used for their sexual activities when I am at work. That's not true. Festus, it's not true. I witnessed everything from here. I overheard their conversation. And so when Chinene slapped that young man and warned him to leave here and never to return here again. I saw everything. Yes. Mama, you don't know who's sitting beside you. She knew you were standing there. She slapped him in the purple. Mama, let me tell you the truth. If that guy was just an ex to her, I probably could have tolerated him. But both of them are porn stars on them. They are sexual partners. They have sex everywhere. In the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the living room, even in the car. My mother, girl sitting next to you is a porn star. Now, I'd like to ask you a question. Is she the type of wife you want for your son? First of all, listen. Chinanya here did not cheat on you. Yes. Whatever she did with your friend before you met her was in the past. And you don't have to use her past against her. You don't have to. It's not right. He's trying so hard to make life miserable for me and my poor child. Festus hmm? wishes me dead. Huh? Yes, he wants me and my child dead so he can. Throw my body far away when nobody will see me. What? Ask him. First of tell me it's a lie. First of tell me this is not true. You want her and my grandchild dead. First of
Pesos. Where are you going to? We are all not for below. Pesos! Come back here! Done talking and you left. How dare you walk out on me? Mama, I'm very disappointed at you. Mama, do you expect me to marry a girl who sleeps with my friend? A friend I see every day of my life. Mama, put yourself in my shoes. How would you feel? What if he goes around telling people he has slept with my wife to be? How does that sound to you? Festus, you are just ranting like a baby. Were you not sleeping everywhere with other women before you met Chine? Tell me. I never slept with her friends. Mama, this situation is different! You are just being childish and backward in your thinking. When you reason like a man, then you move on. How can you be bothered by petty things like where and how my current woman slept with her ex? First of all, we are talking about her past. We all have our past. Your father didn't meet me as a virgin, but we have been living peacefully. Alright. Yes. My father didn't meet you a virgin, right? Yes. So who took your virginity? His friends? Answer me. Pistos. Answer me. Who did? Pistos, are you mad? Have you gone nuts? You want to know who broke your mother's virginity? You are mad, Festus. Listen to me. Chinaya is not going anywhere. She is carrying my grandchild. And I will never allow you to treat her any longer. Touch her and see what I will do to you. Mama, listen and listen good. Any man capable of sleeping with my wife-to-be can equally sleep with my mother. Chine must leave his house. First off! You need to stop crying. It's not good for your condition. Talk to my son, and I will continue to talk to him. You're a good girl from the little I heard about you. So it's unfair for someone to judge you by your past. I know first of my son is only allowing pride and ego to take a better part of him. You know, men, that things like this always make them crazy. Okay? I promise to talk to him again. I know I understand his anger, and I will continue to talk to him. So, you are a good woman, and my God will bless you. Who's your daughter-in-law? Okay. Mama, I'm very disappointed at you. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell me, maybe you have a son somewhere who paid her bride price because I didn't. I will never! And she has to leave my house today! She has to leave my house now! But she's carrying your baby. Yes! 
She is carrying your baby. And you people are nearly married. I thought we have settled this matter first. I can't marry a porn star, Mama. She is a porn star. And what, what matter did we settle? Nothing was settled. Mama, listen and listen good. This is my house. And I have made my decision. She leaves today. She leaves right now. Festus, why do you derive joy in seeing Chinese tears all the time? I'm asking you why. Mama, I'd like to return the same question to you. Ask me. Why are you not concerned about my happiness? Why don't you like to see me happy? So the happiness you crave for is the one that will hurt this poor and innocent orphan who has given up everything just to be with you. I will not support such happiness. I will never support it. Mama, I don't care mm -hmm. if she's an orphan. The information I have about her mm. is that she is a porn star. And I will never marry a porn star. I don't want to die before my time. No Mama, she, is, she leaves my house she now. She's not going anywhere. Bala, where is this stupid boy? Ma? Where are you? Come here. Carry this bag. Take it. Are you not hearing me? I say you should take this bag inside. Mama, I I, I heard you well. Let me hear from my ogre. Now you get the financing. Ah. Uh -huh. You need to hear from your other. No problem, leave the back. Mama, what are you doing? Come, follow me. Mama, what are you doing? Mama, what are you doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Mama, stop it. Mama, she's this prostitute. You can't enter my house. She's the prostitute. Ah! I'm not doing fine. Papa, I need to see you. You need to come. Papa, if you don't come, I'll do something stupid. Something I might regret in the future. What really happened? Talk to me. What's going on? Papa, this is not a phone conversation. I need you to come to Lagos and talk to your wife. She's driving me crazy. Papa, you need to come. Festus. And you, come here. Come here. I said, come close to me. Okay, sir. Were you going to touch the bag? Sir? No. Were you going to touch the no. red bag? No. I would like to touch the bag without you telling me to touch it. No, sir. So you were not going to touch the bag? No, 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 no. I cannot try it, sir. No, sir. Good. I like what you did. Thank you, sir. Go to your duty post. Thank you, sir. The life that we live is like a rain. It's cause we need it as a season. The life that we live is like a rain. It's cause we need it on season day. I would not let my past to destroy me. The future holds in the better me. But what I'm talking about. Alright, thank you very much. Ah, Papa! Ah, nice to see you. Papa! Ah, you're welcome. How are you? Take, take that in the Ah, Papa! Please sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> ah. Papa, I'm happy to see you. You look good. Thank you. I you look very young. <laughs> the room to your right. Ah, Papa, how are you? I'm fine. Why are you looking very young? <laughs> <laughs> Why won't I look young? 
when I have a great son like you, ah. my looks is just because of you. And <laughs> well, I'm very happy to hear that. How have you been? Very nice. Uh, how's uh, the village? Everything is fine. Oh, that's great. Papa, am I stressing me? Am I stressing me? Look at me. I look like a shadow of myself. She stresses me. She gives me sleepless nights. She doesn't let me relax. I don't know what I've done to her. Just, just imagine me. I'm here now. Whatever it is, we will sort it out in a way that you'll be happy. Okay? Papa, I hope so. Because I'm literally tired of her. I'm sure you just relax. It's okay, Papa. Papa, please, what do I offer I know, 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 it should be Johnson, your ass. He spoils everything. You see, is it for women? It might not mean the same like men, because they will see it is in the past. But for men, they hardly forget, because the image is always there. So it's very difficult for men to easily forget such an incident. Even those that are not married. If a, a boyfriend sees the girlfriend with another man, he also reacts the same way. That's the situation. Dad, I have heard all that you have said. But the truth is, I love your son so very much. I cannot imagine my life without him. And I swear, I have never cheated on your son since we started dating. I have not. As for Johnson, I don't love him at all. He belongs to my past. Even if Festus doesn't want me, I still will not go back to Johnson. That's to tell you how much I love Festus, Dad. Please, I want you to help me. Just. Help me play with him, please. I cannot live without him, please. My dear, it's like you didn't understand me very well. The situation is very sensitive. And uh, it's not easy for every man to easily forget. And uh, knowing my son is a very emotional person. And this might lead to emotional trauma for him which I wouldn't want, okay? So my hands are tight. A lot of things happen within me. I just wish I could let it out. But it's all love is just with... I don't understand what you're saying. This whole thing happened in the past. It's not as if that is happening now. That is the way you look at it as a woman. But men don't see it like that. I've seen a situation where this kind of thing happened. And you were allowed to get married. In a very short time, the money collapsed. Because the man couldn't live with it. So I suggest you take a break. Huh? This is not the right thing to do. Nah. I don't think it's the right thing to do. Most times, when a woman catches her husband with another woman, she forgives. But I don't know why some men's own are different. Chinanya is a poor offer. And as parents, we are here to celebrate. Because she is already pregnant. She is carrying our child. If you push her away now, what are we going to do? Our hands are tied. We can't push that away. We have to settle the woman. Our hands are not tied. Let me ask you. Would you like your soul, your only soul, to start a family where there will be no peace of mind? Where there will be no trust? No. Look, I still 
Every suggests that the best thing lay the goodness is the goodness. Because I am not ready to lose my only soul to depression when there are thousands and one guests out there. intimidated in this life. If a man cheats, they say it's normal. But if it's a woman, the case is different. Look at it now. How can we push away this poor innocent girl just because of her past? Her past too. Hey. Why? Um, having said a lot about the issue on ground, there's no need beating around the bush. I have to hit the nail on the head. Uh, Ch uh, Chile, you have to pack your things and leave the house. Nine. I am so shocked that you have decided to go by your decision to ask her to leave without considering the fact that she is carrying Festo's child. Hi. If you ask me, I will say it's not right. Because we should also remember that she is an orphan. She is a human being. And she is someone's child too. I know. See. I don't have anything against her. She, she's not a bad girl, you know what I'm saying? Her. But you have to consider the happiness and the mental stability of my son. She, 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 look, my son is almost running mad as he sees you around him. You are present, irritates him. And you cannot continue to inconvenience him in his own house. Please, as I said before. You have to pack your things and leave. Let him have peace of mind. And uh, after all, a broken relationship is far better than a broken marriage. So please, leave them at home. Now, you have to reconsider your decision. In as much as we are talking about our son's happiness here, we should also remember that the girl in question is carrying our grandchild, our own blood. It's our grandchild we are talking about here. Where do you want her to go? Where? Where you stand is where I stand. Papa, your decision is final. And mine is final. You have to leave my house. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let it go, my friend. It's not gonna solve this battle. Let go, my friend. It's not a solution. Let go. Here is a check. What's written there will take care of you and your unborn child. I'll see you when you go to bed. This is what you want.
think about it It's not church This is somebody's house Someone's house Stop killing me The life that we live is like a rain That's cause we need it as a season now The life that we live is like a rain That's cause we need it some season now I would let my past to destroy me The future holds in the better me But what I've thought in the past Is haunting my present I don't want it to destroy my future My love You want to leave your husband's house for me? Where are you going to? Huh? Who do you want to leave your husband's house for? Mama, please, just let me go. Festus does not want me anymore. My father-in-law to be, he does not want me either. Just let me go, I'll be alright. Listen, listen, you are not going anywhere. This house belongs to you. My unborn grandchild cannot be giving birth outside this house. Therefore, go back inside the house. Take this box inside the house! Mama, you have stressed yourself enough. You have tried. Just let me go. I'll sort my way out. And I said, no. You are not leaving this house. This is my son's house. And you are his wife-to-be. Go back inside the house. Hmm? Oh, I said go back. Go back. Carry this box inside. Take it inside. Go. Go back. You are not going anywhere. Oh, you want to leave your husband's house? Eh? Eh? No, it can't happen while I'm, I'm still alive. It will never happen here. You are not going anywhere. Go back. You must give birth to my grandchild. You get it's not done. You can't leave here. That's what you want to share. Okay. This is very sensitive. So I'm going to show you around that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're back? Yes, yes, yes. How are you? Are you Everything okay? Yeah, yeah everything is okay. Alright. Um, Papa, this is someone really special. There's a lot I need to tell you about her. But first, her name is Flora. Flora, that's my dad. And what this do you is mean, my sir? Mom. What do you want? Hi. Um, and this is my maid. My house help, actually. So my mom and dad visited. I needed her to come around to help uh, with the chores. Okay. All right, I'll just uh, show you to your room. Make yourself home. Thank you. All right, come here. Thank you, sir. My love, have mercy. I don't mean to do it. I don't mean to do it. But it's just my past. A lot of things happen. Chinanya, stop it. No, no, no. Don't let this weigh you down. Trust me. I'm here for you. Don't. Don't. I said, Chinanya. Don't you trust me again? Eh? Trust me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Eh? Don't worry. It's alright. Mama, my daughter. I came to tell you something. You see that my son? He is deceiving you. I want you to pay attention to me as a mother. And I will advise you run as far as your legs can carry you. Because what my son told you while making introduction is planted slide. You see, that girl she introduced to you as a maid is his wife to be. And as a matter of fact, she is three months pregnant. What? For him. Mama? Yes. <sighs> Mama. Copos just told me now is a lie. I can't lie. Like I said before, I am a mother. If you allow yourself to be deceived by my son, when the truth will eventually come out, 
don't call me. But oh, Mama, Mama, I'm, I'm so surprised by your words. You know, Faces never mentioned to me that he has a pregnant fiancé. Oh, that's why I say you should run now that you can. They say, had I know, always comes at last. Don't call me. Run. So what Mama told me is the truth. Yes. I'm pregnant for him. We're supposed to get married. But he found out that I did it his friend in the past. Which wasn't my fault because I had no idea they were friends. But he just cannot forgive me for that, so he ended the relationship. And since then, he's been treating me so badly. I'm so sorry, my dear. Stop crying. I'm so sorry, my dear. Thank you for you. Stop crying. You see, I'm also a woman like you. And I wouldn't want to attract a curse upon myself. I understand that. I understand how you feel. You see, I'm a fellow woman. And I wouldn't want to attract a curse upon myself. Please don't cry. I know other girls might decide to stay back. But I won't. Because I I wouldn't want another woman to treat me as such. I believe on treating others the same way I would have them treat me. So please. I believe in treating others the same way I would have them treat me. I'm sorry. That's my dream. That's not cool. Okay. Please. Oh God. Why am I like this? Oh. Not gonna solve this battle. Let go, my friend. It's not a solution. Let it go, my friend. It's all of the past, not the future. Hey, hey. Tell me I'm how back. Actually, happy to see you. Let me be. Stop this. How dare you? What do you take me for? How could you introduce Chine as your maid when she's three months pregnant for you? Have you seen a stupid woman? But well, babe, who told you those lies? Oh really? So you actually brought me to your house to insult me? I... I told her everything she needs to know. Which of them is a lie? That Chinenye is a maid. Or that she is pregnant for you. 
Where is the lie? Tell Mama, me. What nonsense is this? Don't you want my happiness? Don't you? Hit me. Festus, hit your mother and here. Hit me. What is wrong with you, Festus? Look at me here. Hit your mother, Festus. What is wrong with you? Why have you refused to take the path of good reasoning? Huh? Mama. It's time for you to leave my house. Mm. I won't see it again. Come back here. Festus, I am a woman. I know how Chinenye is feeling. I put myself in her shoes. Let me tell you, Festus. You see that Chinenye of a person? She is a very good wife material. It's difficult to see her type anywhere. So you need to hold that which you have very tight before you lose it. I don't understand what you're telling me about the phone. Why would your guy hold your ass against you? To be honest, Jesse, I've not been happy lately. I've been trying to do my best. This is wanting me to make this house by all means. I don't know what to do. I can't believe you're doing your own thing. What can I do? I'm pregnant. I'm having this child. And so what? So because you're pregnant for him, you should not treat him the way he likes. To be honest, Cheesy, I totally understand you. I mean, men are jealous in nature. It's not easy for a man <laughs> to be with a woman that has slept with his friend. Just that Festus is overreacting. He's taking it so seriously. Absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense to me. You didn't cheat on him. Were you supposed to know what was happening in the future? Was it not as if you cheated on him? She may be. You need to leave this house now before you're still alive. Because as he's rejected you to this point, you will do anything to cause him just to make sure that you're I can't leave Festus. I can't leave I love him. I see future with him. And I'm having this child. My first fruit. I don't want to do an abortion. Neither do I want to be a single mother. So you want to continue suffering? Seems like you enjoy suffering. Anyway, I'll leave you to God. He's not a solution. Let it go, my friend. Why should we punish her because of her past? Huh? It's not the same that she cheated or that she was a prostitute. She was only living her normal life just like every other girl out there. Okay, now imagine if she is your daughter. And she has been treated this way. Will you be happy? Or is it because she's an orphan? Eh? Mm. Huh. You are making a whole lot of sense. Yes. But the problem is, how do we convince Festus to accept her? I'm not the one to live with her. My Festus is our son. If we can come out as husband and wife and make a strong statement, with one voice, first of all, we have no other option than to accept. It, it, it's in one thing I don't want is to force my son to do anything against his wish. It's not forced. Especially when it comes to his private life. Because he's, he's wearing the shoe. He's going to live with the woman. You understand? But uh, uh, all the same, I've heard what you said. Uh, I'll think about it and I will get back to you tomorrow morning. What do you have to think about now? Tell me, what are you thinking? 
Let me sleep. Let me arrange my head. I will. I will. You want to arrange your head? Take your pillow. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Papa, I don't understand what you're trying to say. What do you mean you're going back to the village, Mama? We're all here in this thing. You never said anything about going back to the village. What's going on? That you are right. You see, last night I had a long discussion with your mother. And uh, after discussing with her, she made a lot of sense. I understand. That Chine never cheated on you. When Chine was dating your friend, she never knew you. And uh, you cannot use that against her. And moreover, when we're talking about an unborn child is involved, so we decided that you should, we put up a should leave, so that. Both of you can sort it out as a couple to be. I think it's the best thing for both of you. Papa, you know that's not possible, you know that? Why would it be possible? Listen, let me tell you. I don't want to hear that you beat her again. Are you hearing me? I don't want anything to happen to my daughter-in-law and my unborn grandchild. Do not touch her again. Hold on a second, Mama. Why do you keep calling her your daughter-in-law? When did I get married to her? You married her the day you got her pregnant. What? Yes. Uh, uh, Chine. Yes, sir. Did I discuss with you? I told me you love my son so much. I want you to go on to that love. And be a good kid to him. Maybe with time, you will see reason to forget everything in the past, okay? Are you, are you trying to cry again? I don't want to see any tears from your eyes. I don't want to see it. Don't change your mood. Hmm? Cheer up. Smile for me. This is your house. No one can chase you away from you. Are you getting me? This house belongs to you. You know? Uh, first, of all, I know this is difficult for you, but you have to do the needful. Yes. This is your first thing. And you cannot let it be outside or bear another person's name. It's not possible. Okay? We need to do what we have to do before she put to bed. Why not? Let's go. Then we care of my daughter and law. Explain it to him that uh, uh, he should come and settle to the I, I, we, tradition. Before she put to bed, uh, uh, I don't want to be useful. How are you doing now? Try to go You are a class shooter. You have some goal. Don't worry, we'll bring the call. Eh? Uh, thank you. Me and my child. I haven't seen Festus for a week now. He doesn't take my calls or respond to my messages. I'm all by myself. But why would Festus do such a thing? Babe, have you seen it? This is the reason why I asked you to leave here. He's intentionally punishing you. That's the way I see it. I just hope he's okay wherever he is. I just hope he's fine. Uh, I miss him. Are you okay? Someone that abandoned you and your bunch has in this condition. But come to think of it, have you called his parents? Have you informed them? No. Maybe I should just call his mother, right? Maybe you should call them. At least let them know the situation on ground. Call the number on you. Yes.
Hello? Hey, hey, my daughter, how are you? I'm not fine. I haven't seen Festus for a week now. You've not seen Festus for the past one week and you kept quiet. I didn't want to bother you. I thought he would come around. But he's not coming. Hi. Why is Festus this stubborn, eh? Uh, don't worry, my daughter, oh. Just don't worry. Calm down. I will call him and get back to you. Oh? Okay, ma. It's all right. It's all right. Why is Festus doing behaving as if he has no parents? You should get back to me. All right, this before I go. I miss him. I miss him. I just hope he's okay. I can't, I can't think straight anymore, God. I don't know. I miss him so much. I miss him. Oh. It's not gonna solve these battles Let go, my friend It's not What are you doing here? Festus did to you? Yes. That's because I love you so much. Your love brought me back, not minding the plaster on my head. Look, I heard how you've been suffering in this house. In fact, the gate man told me Festus abandoned you for a week now. I am here to make sure that you're fine. That's my business and not yours. Get out! Why can't you see? Why can't you see that this man has moved on with his life? Why can't you see that? That's my business and not yours. Leave my sight. Get out! Baby, baby, Get baby, out! Please calm down, please. She don't want to leave, right? No problem. Why are you doing this? Get out! Why are you doing this? Get out! Alright, alright! Leave! Okay! Go! That is what she said. That Festus left the house over one week now. Eh? Leaving that innocent poor girl and her unborn child to suffer. Oh. I'm going to repeat her. If we have a last Festus, marry the woman he wanted to marry. All this thing would not come up. And how I wish that Festus would find. No, he's taking this decision and I'm here at peace. 
Are you sure you are not committed to suicide? God forbid. How can you say a thing like that? Nice. Nah, stop saying that. Festus cannot take his own life. You and I know that Chinene has always been the woman Festus wanted to marry. All this while. Eh? And I, I, I deeply believe that the two of them can make a better couple. Eh? If Festus can come back to his senses and stop pushing this issue. Yeah, children of love. Children of love. They take decisions, they can hardly go back. They forget that a car without revenge is not a good car. Huh? They don't feel that it is fine when it is. You see, his number is ringing, but he's not taking this call. All it's all I have. If anything happened happen to him, nothing will happen to Festus. Believe me, he's my child. If anything happened to him, I will get a sign. You are sure? I'm sure of that, yes. That's nothing so happened to him. I had an accident that affected his final call. Jesus Calm down, I will explain to you. Let's go inside first. Oh so, so why did you not call me? Let's go why inside. Why did you not call me? What happened? Let's go inside. What hospital? Who is the doctor in charge? What, what, what accident? What are you talking about? Oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. Like I was saying, he was involved in a fatal accident that claimed lives. But he was lucky to have survived it. God. Why me? Why him? <clears throat> Don't desert, please God. You have to put yourself together and stop weeping. Hmm? The doctor said that he may not be able to walk for now due to the injury sustained in his spinal cord. God. Why is all this happening to him? Why? I'm so sorry. See, mm, um, it is now that you have to show him that you love him, if you actually do. Show him the love now. Um, you don't stress him. You don't allow him to talk too much. Show him love. Then I'll be coming from time to time to check on him. And also take him to the hospital for check on. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll be going now. I'll be on my way. Besides, I can't chew anything solid. I prefer anything liquid, like pop. Uh, sure, I'll make pop for you. Coffee or anything, because I can't chew. Okay, so I'll just. Um, I was going to say something to you. Okay. I don't want my parents to know about my condition. I don't want to cause more problems. That's why I've been ignoring their calls. Please don't tell them. I 
I'll do anything to make you happy. Let me quickly make you happy. to leave. Everything will be fine. I strongly believe that this is just a face. And with me by your side, we will pass through it. Okay? No. I want you to move on with your life. There's no point for you to be here. My life is completely shattered. My life is completely destroyed. You have so many reasons to go. One, I can't take care of you. Two, I am physically challenged. I am on a wheelchair for God's sakes. to lose this house. There's no point for you to be here. And finally, I treated you badly. You have every right to leave. You have every reason to leave. I'll be fine. But I'm not going to live. I love you. I love you so very much. And I will not leave you alone. I want you to smile. We'll fight this together. I promise you. Come on, smile. You have me for life. Okay. Johnson, for what? Send him away. It's okay, babe. It's all right. 
um, letting me in. Okay, sir. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, Festos. How are you? <laughs> you see, Festus, I never believed that you of all people will tell your get man to let me in. I see. You are now becoming more accommodating now that you're in a wheelchair. Indeed, challenges changes man. It's a good one. What's the chance and why are you here? Well, I heard about your miserable condition. And I came to show some pity. Chancen! Hmm? In other words, you have come to mock me. So, uh, so do I offer you a receipt so you can mock me all day? Well, my guy, you're the one mocking yourself. See how God works. The last time I came here, I broke my head. But today, nature has scrambled you. Isn't God wonderful? <laughs> Well, honey, I'm sorry, but I cannot stand here and watch this fool insult you. Get out! Get out! Hey. Hey. Get out of here! Leave! Are you feeling bad, vegetable? Are you feeling bad? Huh? You see, Chine, I've given to you. I'm making you a promise that you always see my face here. And I'll be a nice guy when I miss it. Where do you feel the pain more? Is he here? Or here? Don't touch him! <laughs> My nigga. Well, perfect condition for... So ah! like yes, ma'am! Make sure you don't get... Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Get out! Leave! Just make sure you get him! Just get out! You bestial! Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have... Let him eat that. I'm sorry. Did he hurt you? Are you funny? Mm -hmm. So I got you strawberry, mm -hmm. I got you mangoes, I got you grapes, I got your food right so apple. <laughs> so which one should I make for you? Good day, sir. Good day. You must be Mr. for Obona. What can I do for you? We are bank officials. We are here in respect of the agreement you had with our bank before taking the sum of 200 million naira loan, which you use this house and your cars as collateral. Sir, you have 24 hours to leave this house. You are already permitted to take your clothes. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks.
take me to the village. I'll be fine with my parents. And I promise to call you once everything is fine. You've not lost everything. And I will leave you. I'm not going anywhere. I don't love you because of your money. If you want to go to the village, I'll follow you to the village. We'll manage. I can't. I love you so much. Please don't chase me away. I don't know where to go. I cannot live without you. Please. I'll just. I'll get our things. So we go to the village together. Send me away, please. And I want you to know that this is not the end of everything. I know my God. I know that God will make a way. He said he will make a way where there is no way, right? Please, I want you to be strong. We're going to bounce back I walk. I can start my provision business again. I will do anything. Oh, just don't send me away, I beg you, please. Please. Oh. <laughs> Stressing yourself will solve this problem. It can never do you good. I will advise you to come back. God is with you. Honestly, I'm happy you're here. So you can help me speak to him. He has been like this since the bank asked us to vacate this house. Don't I worry. Don't I feel bad? I'm about to lose my house. I'm about to lose my cars. Everything I worked hard for. It's gonna go away just like that. I have every right to feel bad. But you don't need to give up. You can give up now. We talked about going to the village. We can start from there. I told you, I will walk. Please. See, Festus, I understand your pain. There is no one in your condition that will stress. But I believe that God can still do a miracle in your life. Look me. All the great men we have in this world. I'm sure they went through one challenge or the other. But the ability to overcome them, it's what made them great. Please. And I believe in God the miracle. Something can happen. No condition is permanent. Just jump, please. But it's all love is just within me. It's burning inside me. Just I have some of you too. It's best to see your strands on me. Can't you see that he has lost everything? No. He has not lost everything. He has me. He has our unborn child. And he has God. She's a God is the lifter of men. I'm not going to abandon Festus because of his bad condition. No! Same man that abandoned and left you to suffer when things were going well for him. Same man that asked you to abort your child and even wished you dead. Chine, you're just being delusional. Leave this man, let's go. I will not pay evil for evil. I'll follow him to his village. 
are you okay at all? Yes. So he wants to follow him to go to the village and suffer. Now that the bank has given him 24 hours to leave this house. Chinya, you're just being delusional. Leave this man, let's go. She said, I will not judge Festus by his past. What he did to me is in the past. Every maid in the past. Okay? Just let him be. Same man that judged you because of your past. He spat on your face because of your past. He rejected you and your unborn child because of your past relationship with Johnson. Can't you see that the sudden change is as a result of his predicament? He didn't change for good. He's just helpless and powerless to fight. You know what, Chizzy, at this point, I think we've had enough of this conversation, okay? It's my fate, my destiny. Let God decide what He wants for me and not you. And if you're not talking, please, can you just leave? I'm tired. I'm tired of having this talk with you. I'm tired. I'll leave, but I'll tell you this. This is not your destiny. You chose it for yourself. Fine. Then let me be. Please. I love my husband. I love him. from his sins. Have you forgotten how he abandoned you whenever he was with that boy? Baby girl, it's time for you to return the energy. Now and come out of it. You ain't dear. The downfall of a man is not the end of him. Festus will rise again to put you to shame. Just in a hate you. I hate you so much. I hate everything about you. The sight of you disgust. Get out. Just leave us alone. Go. I can see you. I see you love to suffer. But I won't let you. I will never let you. Yes. So, 
but you never had an accident? Chinay, it was all a prank. I wanted you out of my life. It was all a prank. I hated you so much and I wanted you out of my life. But you wouldn't listen. I did everything humanly possible to send you out of this house. But you were too stubborn. I came up with a plan. I decided to become physically challenged. When you see me deformed, you would probably leave me alone. But you were so stubborn! I didn't know what to do! My friend advised me. We came up with a brilliant plan! We met some hoodlums on the streets. We asked them to become bank officials. We asked them to come to this house to convince you that I took a loan so you can leave this house. But you wouldn't listen. At that point, I realized I was wrong. I realized you loved me for real. I realized you were very genuine with me. I came back to my senses, then I realized the affair you had with my friend is in your past. It has nothing to do with your present. I love you. I'm sorry. I know I treated you so badly. I shouldn't have. But please, forgive me. I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, I apologize for putting you through. Hey. I don't care about your past. What that matters is, I love you have for me. It doesn't last forever. It goes we did it season. And goes when it flies. When it's high, when it's high, it's so much fun. Think about um, it. I'd like to formally introduce my friend to you. He's not just a friend, he's also a business partner. He's a client. He actually came up with the second idea. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm sorry. I'm happy that you guys Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy today. I'm so happy to see you both together. Mm, thank hmm? you. Can't you see that you're happy? Hmm? My son, we thank God for this peace and understanding that has finally come to stay. Yeah. Hmm? 
My fine boy. <laughs> I see that you're happy today. My fine boy. I can see you're happy today. Chine, mm -hmm. you remember what I told you. I said, hold on to that love you have for my son. That it will come to pass. Yes. Because God is love. <laughs> this marriage is destined to be. Yes. And it will last forever. Amen. <laughs> Raven 